Russians forcing the Muslims out of the Caucasus and taking Armenians into the Caucasus. See, for instance, in the 1827 to 29 wars, the Russians forced out the Maturks that lived in Yerevan, what today is the Armenian Republic, had a majority Turkish population. They forced them out, they brought Armenians in. The same thing happened again and again as the wars went on. Well, this develops hatred. The Armenians side with the Russians. They say they will benefit. They will get new land. The Russians gave them free land. They didn't make them pay taxes. The Turks, on the other hand, are forced out of their homes. Armenians take their homes. The Turks say, these are our enemies. And this is the, the main cause. But of course, there are many other things. Armenian revolutionaries who believed that they could force the creation of an Armenia. They believed that, like the Bulgarians, they could create a new state. There are lots of other reasons. There are simply Europeans who refuse to try to treat the Turks honestly. If we expect, uh, we look back and we say, oh, the British must have met well. No, they didn't. They met badly. So did the French, so did the Germans, and the Russians really, really badly. Uh, countries, uh, Charles de Gaulle once said, countries do not have friends. And this is absolutely true. Anyone who expects a country to be a friend is making a mistake. There is self-interest. Countries look out for themselves. And that's true today, and it was true back then. And back then, nobody thought there was any benefit in being with Turkey. So Turkey really had almost no friends, especially in the, eight, the late 19th century. It wasn't really until the, the Germans in World War I that Turkey could say to have friends. And they weren't very good friends. They were just people that were forced together by circumstance. <laughs>